In the great white north of the Yukon, it can be 30 below on a sunny day. Perfect weather for a dog musher. But Devin Anderson runs his team at home in Jamaica, where it is 90 degrees, palm trees sway, and waves lap on white sand beaches. Devin is the musher for Danny Melville's Jamaican dog sled team. Danny and Devin are in the Yukon to witness the beginning of what is perhaps the most challenging dog sled race in the world, the Yukon Quest. 1,000 miles from Whitehorse in the Yukon to Fairbanks, Alaska. Danny was in Edmonton, Canada, shopping for dune buggies for his Jamaican adventure tour business when he tripped over this thing, a metal frame with wheels, in the corner of a fabrication shop. He was told it was a dog sled with wheels so it could be used in the summer when there was no snow. Longtime Melville employee Devin was enlisted as Chucka Tour's first musher. Despite the fact that Devin had never seen snow or a dog sled team, he immediately took the reins, and with some expert training, he was careening up and down the hills and turns of their dirt track in Ocho Rios. In the Yukon, this is the home of dog sledding. So one is to gain all the experience um, that I can, to see how it has been done and sled because most of what I've been doing is on dry land. So just to gain more experience, um, to see, to meet different motions, to get different ideas from uh, my racing when it really started um, on snow. Back home, Devin's dogs are not carefully bred huskies, but real mutts straight out of the shelter. But Devin is said to have a special gift with animals, and his dogs love to run as much as their cold weather cousins. After the Yukon Quest send-off, Devin signed up for an overnight adventure to get a taste of the Quest experience. Um, to be honest, the climate doesn't bother me. What I found out is to dress, once you have the proper clothing, you're good to go. Devin has the commands down. Okay, guys, you're ready? Ready? Let's go! Hike, hike! We're going! You're coming up to turn. Um, we're going left. Ha, ha! Or G, G! Okay, boys, take it easy, easy. We're stopping, you say, who? And now he'll get a chance to see if they work as well on snow as on his dirt track back home. The brake acts as a pivot point, so it tends to draw into the curve, whereas the mat allows you to steer outside the curve. Got that? I think so. <laughs> I'll try. And being out there in the night and being on the trails, you know, I could see myself. Being out there on the quest, you know, giving it a try. You're not alone because you're with the dogs and you're with nature. So you feel, for me, when I'm in the woods, even at home, that's how I like to be. I don't think there's enough words to explain it, you know. But I really had a great time. So if dog mushing is something you've always wanted to try, you now have a choice. Jamaica or the Yukon. In Whitehorse, Yukon, this is Nathan Kaufman.